breaking news here at Gavilan College. Art vandals stole giant rocks from the library. And what did they do? They went through and painted these things for an art project, no less. And look at this big pile of rocks down here on the ground here. One could only wonder what they were doing abusing these poor rocks in such a way. Rumor has it they'll have to remove all the paint off these things. But I think students were going to go through and either steal more rocks or go buy some others rather than try and remove the, the toxic paint off these. This was part of an eco-village, but I could, oh, I could smell all the toxic fumes coming off these rocks. Are you saddened at the vandalism uh, done to these rocks? Who would do such a thing? It's, it's inhumane. Oh, can you believe that? I, I mean, I don't even have a hanky on me right now to assist this poor student right now. D tell me some more information. What do you know about this? I know nothing. All I was, uh, I was just walking to class, and next thing I know, these rocks are in piles with paint on them, and it's it's so uncivilized. Can can you smell any toxic paint? Oh God, yes. It's horrible. I might get asthma. Asthma? Can you believe that? Boy, years ago we had pet rocks, but we didn't paint those. What what do you? What what do you what do you think we should do to these students when we find out what the, who they are? I will throw these rocks at their heads. No, I won't, because I'm a pa I'm a pacifist. Um, <laughs> uh, I would just tell them to not vandalize our beautiful nature and such. Wow, there you have it. What a sad tragedy happening at the holiday season. Oh my gosh, one could only wonder what students were thinking when they did this. All right, Robin Egbert, Gavilan College.